Hello everybody, this is Angie at Cuckoo for Coupons and I'm at Walgreens today to do my Walgreens haul. I ended up getting one of those spend 40 and get $20 back in Walgreens cash digital spend boosters. I also have a spend 50 and get $11 back in Walgreens cash paper spend booster. I'm going to try to stack with each other. So we'll see how that goes. There's a lot of good deals this week, so I'm kind of indecisive as to which ones I really want to get. I have a list written out, but I guess I'll decide in the store depending on what they have and what they don't have. But yeah, I'm excited to get in there. If you guys enjoy this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button. It would mean so much to me. Also, whatever I do decide to get, I will have an printable breakdown below the video. You can just print it out, take it to the store with you. It makes it so, so much easier. All right, let's get inside and find some deals. All right, so I am inside of Walgreens and I am gonna be doing a transaction that involves two spend boosters, a paper spend booster and a digital spend booster. The highest of the two is $50. So I need to spend at least $50 in order to get the Walgreens cash back on both of them. So I am looking at the Old Spice deodorant. This week, certain ones are priced two for $13. So make sure you look at those particular ones. I'm gonna go ahead and grab three of them because this week if you buy three or more of the Secret, Old Spice, or Gillette products, you get a $5 register award. So grab three of them. That's gonna total $19.50. We have a five off of three digital coupon in the Walgreens app. That's gonna bring them down to $14.50. But then we're gonna get that $5 register award back that's gonna make them just $9.50 for all three. But then we're going to submit our receipt to Ibotta for $2.50 back on each of them for a total of $7.50. That's gonna make all three of these deodorants just $2 for all three or about 66 cents a piece. And the Ibotta rebate does not say anything about coupons, so it should be good to go. Next up, I'm gonna grab some of the Dollar Shave Club items. So this week they are spend $10 or more on participating Dollar Shave Club products and get a $3 register reward. My store is out of the ones that are $6.49, but if your store has those, that would be a better deal. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab two of the ones that are $7.49. So that's gonna total $14.98 for both. We have a $6.99 coupon off of two in the Walgreens app. Just clip that and that's gonna bring them down to $7.99 for both. We're gonna get that $3 register reward back, making them $4.99 for both or just $2.49 a piece. But don't forget, I'm including these with my spend boosters, so the deal is gonna be even better. Next up, I'm gonna grab some of the Arm & Hammer that is on sale this week Buy one at $7.49 and get two for free. My store is pretty much out of them, but I was able to find three of them on an end cap. So I'm gonna grab those three. I'm gonna pay $7.49 for all three of them. Next up, I decided to grab some of the Kotex pads that are priced two for $9 this week. The liners are also two for $9 and then the tampons are two for $10. So I was gonna grab some of the pads, but my store was completely out of them. They were completely out of the tampons. And I was like, okay, I'll grab some liners. But I could only find one pack of liners. And I was like, well, I guess I won't do this deal at all. But then I turned around and there was one pack of the security ones just sitting there. And I was so excited to find another pack of liners that I didn't even realize the size. It's a 22 count. Well, I grabbed it anyway. We have a $4 off of two digital coupon in the Walgreens app, but guess what? It excludes the 22 count pack and I didn't even notice. So I'll explain that later when I'm going over the receipt, but I still ended up grabbing them. But make sure that you, if you do this deal, grab the correct size. It has to be higher than the 22 count. So $9, we have a $4 off of two, that's gonna bring them down to $5 for two of them. 
But then we're going to submit our receipt to Shopkick, which has 1,035 scan and purchase kicks, which is the equivalent of $4.14. So these are gonna end up being 86 cents for both packs or just 43 cents a piece, which is amazing. So I'm not gonna do this deal because I don't drink soda, but if you're a soda drinker, these Coke products are three for $12.99 this week, which is a really good deal. If this is something you need, you can actually pay in Walgreens cash for them. So I would grab them because they're super expensive nowadays. Okay, so this is everything that I'm gonna grab for my first transaction. This all totals $50.97. So I am just above the $50 that I need to be at for my paper spend booster. I'm gonna be using that digital spend booster of spend 40 and get 20. And I have $15.99 in manufacturer coupons. I have the paper spend booster, as you can see here, plus I'm gonna use three register rewards to lower my out of pocket. Okay, so here's my receipt. The Arm & Hammer detergent rang up, buy one, get two free. I had the three Old Spice. I had the two U by Kotex liners, which did ring up two for $9, and then the two Dollar Shave Club items. I had the cashier scan my points booster, which was the spend 50, get $11 back in Walgreens cash. And then they scanned my three register rewards. I had a five and two threes. My $6.99 digital coupon for buying two of the Dollar Shave Club did come off. My $5 digital for buying three of the Old Spice deodorant came off. The only one that did not come off was my $4 digital for buying two of the U by Kotex which I already explained that I bought one that was in the wrong size. But when I was paying for this, I did not realize that. So I was like scrolling on the screen trying to figure out where my $4 coupon was. And I brought it up to the cashier and the manager was standing right there as well. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to pay for it. I said, maybe it's because I got two different ones. I said, so I'll pay for it. I'll step to the side and then I'll look at it. So I paid $27.98 with my PayPal debit card, and then I stepped to the side and I tried to figure it out. <laughs> and for whatever reason, I just could not figure it out because I wasn't thinking I had gotten different ones. Like I hadn't, I didn't think about the size, I guess I should say. I knew I had different ones, but I wasn't thinking about the size. And so I was like, I don't know why it didn't come off. They're both liners, you know, I just don't know. And then the cashier and the manager both looked at it and they were like, I don't know why it didn't come off. And they were like, well, we're just going to give it to you. So they went to print me out a $4 um, credit in Walgreens cash. But of course, you can't do $4. So they had to do 5 So I got an extra dollar. So they gave me $5 in Walgreens cash for a $4 coupon that in the end, I shouldn't have gotten in the first place. <laughs> because it wasn't until after they had given it to me and printed it that I was like, oh, it's because I got the wrong size. But by then, they were just like, keep it. It's fine. So I got $5 in Walgreens cash for that coupon, earning an extra dollar. And then I got back a $3 register reward for buying the $2 Shave Club, a $5 register reward for buying um, the three Old Spice deodorant. Then I submitted my receipt to Shopkick and I got $4.14 back for buying the two U by Kotex. And then I submitted my receipt to Ibotta and I was supposed to get $7.50 back for buying the three Old Spice deodorant, but I ended up getting $9.50 back because it picked up $2 on one of the Kotex liners, which I had already gone through my whole Ibotta account trying to scan those items to see if I had any rebates on them, and I did not. So I don't even know where that came from. But I was like, hey, I'm not going to complain. So I got $9.50 back from my Vada. And then I got back $31.50 in Walgreens cash. $11 for my paper spend booster and $20 for my digital. So if you take the $27.98 that I paid out of pocket and you even add those register rewards that I paid with, the five and the two threes, even after adding those all back together, this transaction ended up being free plus a $19.16 moneymaker, 
which is amazing. So I decided to do one more transaction and I noticed that these True Match Mineral uh, Foundations, they're the L'Oreal Paris kind, they're on clearance for $5.79 in my store. These things are regular $18.99. So of course I had to grab one. I had a $5 only for you digital coupon that made this just 79 cents for me. So yeah, I was definitely grabbing that. So I forgot to film the next two items that I grabbed, but these are the ones that I grabbed. I grabbed the Olay Retinol 24 and the Olay Cleanse Makeup Remover Wipes. Now, in my store, the Olay Retinol was priced $11.99 in store, and the Olay Cleanse was priced $7.49 in store. So I was like, huh, I was kind of debating on whether I wanted to get them. And then I decided to ask my cashier, who I've asked before a number of times in my store, and they've always said no. But I was like, it's been a while since I asked, so let me go ask. I asked if they do price matching to their online prices. It's always been no. Well, the answer was yes this time. So I was super excited to find out that my store is now price matching their online prices. So I decided to grab them because the Olay Retinol was $10.99 online and the Olay Cleanse was $6.29 online. So the two of them together total $17.28. We have a $12 off of two digital coupon that is attaching to these items. That brings both of them down to $5.28. But then there is a Catalina promotion, so you're going to get a $3 register reward back, making both of these items just $2.28 or just $1.14 each, which I think is a great deal. And here is that receipt. You can see that the L'Oreal Paris makeup rang up at $5.79 on clearance, and then the two Olay items you can see that they were price modified down to $6.29 and $10.99. I used that 12 off of two digital coupon and then the $5 digital. My subtotal was $6.07. I paid $5 in Walgreens cash, so it only left me with like $1.07 plus tax to pay out of pocket. And then I got back a $3 register reward for buying the two Olay. So I was super happy with this transaction as well. Also, real quick, while I was at the store, I ended up picking up a curbside order that I ordered on Saturday night going into Sunday, and I got a double dip on the Dove Bar Soap, the six-pack of Dove Bar Soap. They're on sale, or they were on sale, because this could only be done on Saturday night, so don't try to do this deal. It's not going to work anymore, but... I did it on Saturday night between 11 and 1 because I'm on the East Coast. So last week we had a deal of spend 20 and get $5 back in Walgreens cash. And then this week we have a spend 15 and get $5 back. So if you time it just right between 11 and 1 a.m. on the East Coast, you can actually get both deals, which means you can get $10 back in Walgreens cash. So I grabbed two of these Dove Bar Soaps. They were $10 online. I paid $20 for them. We had a six off of two digital coupon. So I clipped that. That brought them down to $14. I paid $14 plus some tax. And then I got back both sets of Walgreens cash. So I got back five for the week before's deal and then five for the week after's deal, which is this week. So I got back $10.20 in Walgreens cash. And then I submitted my receipt to Fetch Rewards and I got 3,000 points back for spending 15 on Dove. So in the end, I ended up paying $1.86 for both packs of Dove bars or just 93 cents each which is an amazing deal. And that's how you do a double dip. And that is it. That is everything I got in my Walgreens haul this week. I was super, super happy about it. It was much better than my CVS ordeal. So Walgreens, you're my favorite right now. Don't forget there'll be a printable breakdown below the video. You can just print it out, take it right to the store with you. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button if you don't mind. It would mean so much to me. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and good luck couponing.